This is a discussion on the Perseids meteor shower, which is going to occur this August um, of 2010. Now, this shower is still it has still not started. It will will not start for a little while, but I'm going ahead and start making a video on it. Today is July 2nd. Um, the first meteors of the shower um, will more than likely begin around July 16th. Uh, again, but on, on July 16th, um, the meteors per hour will be very low. It, it'll be basically almost nothing. It may be about one meteor per hour from the shower. So July 16th, don't don't plan on seeing a whole lot on July 16th. And then it ends August 28th. The radiant is Perseus, and that is where um, the meteors, they're not coming from the constellation, but they are entering Earth's atmosphere where it appears it's where it appears it's in line with that constellation. But we're really going through a debris trail left behind by a comet, which we go through every year. Um, the time to look is before dawn for most locations, but however, there is a few locations that um, Perseus does not rise during dawn, which most locations in the U.S. should have Perseus up. Um, in the pre-dawn hours. So the best time to look is in the pre-dawn hours. Um, a few locations may be lucky enough to see a few earth grazing meteors after just after sunset. And earth grazing, earth grazing meteors are caused by the radiant being very close to the horizon and it makes the meteors look pretty cool. I've seen a few of those before. So your area may be lucky to see earth grazers, but there's several, there's a lot of locations that um, Perseus will set before the sun, before the sun even sets, so they can't see it during the evening and they would have to wait um, until it becomes pre-dawn in the middle, middle of the night. ZHR rating, 85 to 140 meteors per hour this year. That's pretty decent. That sounds just about what most years are like. Uh, the peak date is August 13th. And, okay, that's the date where the maximum amount of meteors will be visible. And then the most active days are mainly between August 10th and August 15th. Those are the five days where... Uh, most meteors will be visible, but again, August 13th is the absolute most. Um, meteors, meteor description. Um, there's lots and lots of bright meteors have been reported. Multiple, multiple bright meteors. Um, high ZHR rating. And the ZHR meteors per hour counts every meteor. Um... Moderate speed meteors. The the speed of the meteors are generally moderate. Several meteors have been reported very colorful, variety of colors. Um, fireballs, which are these huge, very bright meteors. Um, a few have occurred almost every year. They've encountered at least one during the shower. So, um, fireballs are very bright. I've only seen them on video. I haven't seen one in real life, but if you ever get a chance to see a fireball, um, it's pretty, from what I see in the videos, they're pretty awesome to watch. I mean, they're really bright, and then they approach the ground, and then they explode. Some of them have been reported to explode, so that's pretty cool. All right. All right. <clears throat> If you have any questions, leave a comment. And um, you, if you're if you're unsure when Perseus rises in your area, just leave a comment. Um, uh, tell me your location. I have a Starfinder, and I and I can uh, 
and I'll reply to you and tell you when is the time for your area to look. Any other questions besides that, leave a comment, please. Thank you.